Yo, what's up guys, I'm Charius and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be doing episode 42 of the Runescape 3 vlogs where we're going to be collecting Slayer Souls for the Codex, some Reaper tasks, along with a few other things. Without further ado, let's get started. We did not just get that, really? <laughs> wow, that's a piece for the Dragon chest plate, which is basically worth nothing, but it's still a drop for, for the collection log, so I'll take it. Nice, we got the soul for the Glacier. That was really quick, actually. Guess I'll do a couple more kills and then we'll move on to the next monster. Oh, I don't know when, but we did get the most pistol, so we are out of here. Ooh, right away, we got the Nihil soul. Nice. Yes, we got the soul. Nice. Oh, nice, we just got 50 million strength XP. <laughs> This soul is taking a while though. I think I got here at 49 million strength XP. Yes, we got it. This one took a very long time, but we finally got it. That is the crystal shapeshifter soul. We're gonna dump the souls we just got in here to see in the slayer log which ones we have left. I think I got most of the more common ones, so we're gonna be missing the rarer ones. Uh, jungle Strike, we're at 152 out of 160, so 8 more souls to finish this. We need Jungle Strike Worms, which I can get really easily. I can force a task every day. I just need to do, do my Reaper Demon test so I can go do that. We have Lava Strike Worm, that one is a little bit rarer. Camel Warriors and Onyx Dragons, a little bit rare as well. Some of the creatures of Lost Grove and the Reaper Dinosaur. And the Revenant, I think, is pretty common, so I think I'm going to go try for that one now. We got our first piece of the Revenant drops, and it is a Corrupt Dragon Square Shield. It's not worth a lot, but I think it's in the log. Ooh, we got the soul. That was quick. So only one drop for the log. Ooh, nice, we got a Ripper Claw. That's the first time I've ever gotten one. And that is a drop for the log as well. Sweet. Our Mask of the Green Worm, and we're gonna be able to just force that task to get the sign, the sign, the soul. Yes, assign me this creature, and we have to kill 105 jungle strike worms. I think we have a pretty good chance of getting this all in that many. If we don't get it, I'll come back when we have like a few kills left and extend it. Oh, nice, we got the soul. I'm gonna finish the task just in case we get a hex crest, which we need for this layer log anyway. But if we get the hex crest, I'm just gonna go and cancel the task because this is boring. That is task complete, and we didn't get the hex crest, but we did get the soul. So I am fine with that. And I think all these I'm gonna do on task. We got the Reaper Dinosaur, uh, Creatures of the Grove. The only one that I might do off task here is the Onyx Dragon, but we'll see. I think I'm just gonna do some tasks now. Well, the first task we got was Jumpstone Dragons anyway, so I guess let's go do Onyx Dragons. We finished the task and we didn't manage to get the soul, but I can't stay there any longer. I don't want to do them anymore. So let's get another one. And I guess we can do stalker creatures. I don't know if I'm going to cancel it, but I guess we can do it. We have the souls, but we do need uh, the hex hunter drop for the, for the collection log. So might as well do them. We're here at the soul seekers and we're going to use these seekers charms, which are 200k each by the way in order to get a higher spawn rate for the elites because they have way 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 better drop rates so we're gonna do 15 in there and yeah we need the pet and the hex hunter bow from here so doing the elites is way better than just doing the regular ones no way we just got the soul for the lava strike worm yes that is a really good one there is a fremenic equipment patch here i have no idea what that is I don't know, I think a hobgoblin might have dropped it, I have no clue. How much is it? 25k. Alright, that is weird. I feel like I've seen that in this later log, so we'll check at the end of this task. 46 kills to go, I do want to check the layer tab if that thing is on here. I don't even, uh, Fremenic Proven? So it's not in here, the Fremenic Equipment Patch, I'm gonna google it, see what comes up. I guess that's another slot in the collection lot completed. No way, we got the soul as well. Uh, this one took so long, I've done so many tests here. But we can finally take these dragons off of our prefer list. And we are 
like four souls away. Gemstone drop. These are a one in 2050 around that drop rate. And we have, if we go to gemstone dragons, where are they? Gemstone dragons. We have 2,432. So we're a little bit over the drop rates, which is weird. But we did get the final uh, Ushapti for the gemstone dragons. And I am going to take these off of my preferred list now. Let's dump five souls in here and check the slate or the yeah the slayer codex once again. Let's look at it, and we are at 156 out of 160. We're four souls away, and I don't know if I want to do these off task. The camel warriors I can do off task because they don't have any drops that are needed for the slayer log since I already have two camel staff. So I could do those off task for these i kind of want to do on task just because of the enhanced chance to get the cinder veins and the gem i don't remember what that one's called the one for that renews your prayer so i might do these on task and then finally the reaper demon this one i guess it does have a better chance to drop the blowpipe pieces if it even drops those i'm not sure but even if it does i think it's just better to do the other ones for this so I don't know, I think I might do Slayer for a little bit longer, and then if we don't get the souls in a, in a little bit, then I'll probably just start doing them off task. Another of these golden rocks done, and I've actually checked this time, and we have two more to go. So that's two more for the trim requirement. I think I've said two more in the last, like, five clips, but <laughs> this is actually the third to last one. I'm selling back all the dinos that I used for the achievement. I still have a couple to go, but I'm selling the ones that I have left over and they're all sparkling listening. So they go for a good amount of money. The first one goes for 8.5 mil for the pair. We have a Reaper for 28 Kriara. So we're gonna place the totem of intimidation in this totem spot. I never used this totem spot before because it's so far off out of the way. And now we can activate it from the home base. So. It is going to be nice to have it there and then we can just activate it from the camp. That is the end of the Reaper task and we got 37 points. I don't even know how many points I have, but that is 160 assignments in a row as well. We're gonna go get another task and go do it. Here we go, another dinosaur cell and these two pairs went for 17 mil. Nice amount of money there. Let's get another assignment and the next one we have to kill is Corp Beast, 12 of them. I guess I can do core beast. It's just 12, so it's a good amount of points for almost no time. Oh, and on the first kill, we get a new personal record. I haven't killed core beast a lot, so we might get a few of these. 32 seconds. <laughs> we got another PB on the last one. It's, it's also 31 seconds, but we also got 2,000 cannonballs, which is nice. That is 22 more Reaper points, and in total, we have a uh, Reaper. In total, we have... 151. Nice, we just got 130 million Slayer XP. Nice, the new PB at the Blackstone Dragon. It is 502 and the drop was 14 Draconic Energy. Nice. I decided to kill the Wilder Worm because it spawned right here next to my Slayer task and no matter what it drops, it wasn't worth it. Let's see, 610k, yeah. Definitely not worth it. Don't do it if you see him, but I do have the Hellfire bow So I got increased damage against these lava strike worms for the next 58 kills <laughs> You know, we're doing the magister for a reaper and we just got a phylactery on the first kill <laughs> Okay It was only six kills, so I didn't expect to get any phylactery. So I guess one is enough. Let's shatter it and we got 10 scraps. That's pretty good. That is the end of the next Reaper assignment. It was Grigorovic and we didn't get any any draw, but let's check the Reaper points. Uh, Reaper, and we have 211. So a couple more tasks before we can get uh, for our first hard Hydrix. There it is. We're doing an Edimu task and we just grabbed 113 Slayer. That means we're halfway there to, two, to 120. Here we go, we're about to complete this mini quest that just came out for the Effigy Incubator and that's gonna give us our Cumpcake back. Let's make sure we put that back on. All right, we'll do that later because it's not loading. 
We are here at the Effigy Incubator and we're gonna hand in all these materials and we should get an achievement for handing in a thousand of them. There we go, Effigy Scavenger. That is the achievement. We are also going to open the shop and buy one of each of these other effigies because there is another achievement to pop one of each one of these open. So we are gonna be working on that as well. First of our effigies from the D&D that just came out on Monday and that is it being full. I thought we were gonna get the achievement from just feeling it, but it looks like we're gonna have to crack it. And there it is, cracking open a cold one. That just gave us an effigy star. Uh, we are gonna use on fishing, 17K XP. And we now have to pop one of each for the next achievement. So I am gonna work on the, on the cooking one for now. And the other ones I'm just gonna do with player own farms. There we go, that filled up all of the urns we needed. And if, oh, I already opened it, okay. So I, once I open this one, there's the achievement, cracking open a four pack. And that is the achievement for opening one of each of these effigies. Apparently there's also an achievement you can get after finding all 12 penguins. So all you have to do is talk to the bear and then do option three and then option one. And we've, got all 12 so this should give us the achievement let's see there it is icukegp we're gonna do another round of penguins and as soon as i spy on this one we're gonna get our token let's see wait that's not the token i was talking about i thought you could get a token to reset it but apparently not maybe next week this is interesting it looks like the device doesn't work if there are two penguins in range because there's definitely a penguin right here. Or, oh, it tells you which one do you want to scan for. Okay, so that makes sense. The other one is right down here. There we go, that is our last penguin. If I have enough reset tokens, I'm gonna reset this and do it again so I can get the rewards quicker. I don't know if it's gonna let me though. There we go, finding this penguin for the next time unlocks the achievement for my don't we love that is a come cape achievement and that is to fully upgrade the penguins by device so that means i can zap penguins now oh nice we just got a 007 penguin now we just gotta find it there it is give me my casket and don't be easy i've only gotten easy from these oh it's an easy one meh we have found 52 that that's crazy that we found 52 i think the double o asian penguins count because i've gotten three and i've done a total of four runs of penguins so that would be 48 and well the double o seven penguins do count for this so that's nice we are uh 28 points away from getting the trim requirement which is really good but first let's buy as many of these as we can let's just get five and use them all on fishing see much see how much xp we get 344k let's also open the easy clue mm, 13k let's hope we get a fortunate on a reroll nope and nope anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video i do hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this you can also click on screen now to go to my channel my most recent video and my blogs playlist and i'll catch you in the next one see ya